Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're looking at Dinoverse. This is a 2 to 5 player game set in a prehistoric world, where players take on the roles of different dinosaur packs. The objective is to lead your pack to victory by strategically manipulating the central herd of dinosaurs to your advantage. Each player is assigned a pack of two dinosaurs, with each dinosaur having unique abilities. Players must use their, these abilities to influence the herd, which is a shared pool of dinosaurs that interact with each other. Carnivorous dinosaurs can eat other dinosaurs, scoring points from the rising body count. Herbivorous dinosaurs work to grow the herd and earn points by defending it from the carnivores. The key gameplay mechanics involve carefully managing the herd's composi composition and dynamics. Players must decide whether to cull the herd with carnivores or expand it with herbivores, all while preparing for game-ending events that can be triggered based on the types of dinosaurs in each player's pack. The player who accumulates the most points by the end of the game, through a combination of herd manipulation and strategic dinosaur abilities, emerges, emerges victorious in Dinoverse. Dinoverse is a captivating card game that offers players a delightfully chaotic dinosaur-themed experience. While the game may seem too random at first, repeated playthroughs reveal its underlying depth and variety. The objective of Dinoverse is for players to cultivate the most impressive pack and herd of prehistoric beasts. The game's modular setup ensures that no two playthroughs are alike. With a rotating cast of dinosaurs and extinction events keeping the gameplay fresh and unpredictable. Each turn, players take actions to manipulate the cards in their personal pack of two dinosaurs, as well as the central herd of available dinosaur cards. This can involve peeking at face down cards, swapping them around, and flipping them over, all in pursuit of the ideal combination of dinosaurs. The game's scoring system, where each creature has its own unique way to rack up points, encourages players to carefully curate their pack. One of the most intriguing decisions comes when players must choose whether to play a card from their pack. This requires a delicate balance as discarding one of your own dinosaurs can open up new strategic possibilities, but also carries the risk of losing a potential scoring opportunity. Clever players will find ways to surprise their opponents by cleverly rearranging the face down cards in the herd. As the game progresses, the herd composition can change rapidly, lending the experience a chaotic and unpredictable element. This will thrill some players, while others may find it overly volatile. The gameplay in Dinoverse is quite light, but offers a good level of complexity with the various actions players can take. It's all about procurement and guessing which cards will land in the herd in order to score the most points, making it appeal to both casual gamers and hobbyists. In summary, Dinoverse is a light dinosaur themed card game that delivers an enjoyable, if occasionally unpredictable gaming experience. With its modular setup, unique scoring, and opportunities for clever card manipulation, it's a game that's well worth exploring for fans of prehistoric theme and light, card-driven gameplay. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Take care and until the next one, peace.